or you have just done your radiography or chemo or treatment or some of you waiting on your percentage you just come back from being analyzed on your kidney but you're not on the dialysis yet but you're still in the process your percentage is not normal or maybe the uh, diabetes you know the sugar in your blood has one of your legs being impeded already and you're trying to ask yourself how many years do i have left look don't look at the negative end you continue to trust god and speak over the word of god over your situation your body was created by God. When he spoke, your body came to be. Give your body and your mind and your all to God, trusting and believing in the word of God that he hasn't finished with you yet. He's still working in your life. So embrace that. So as we have our Holy Communion today, please join us believing and join us receiving. Join us trusting and join us knowing. Don't just stand there and say, no, I don't have anything. No, you believe. That God has got something for you. Because hallelujah. he's got the best for you. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says, I beseech you, brothers, in views of God's mercy. Amen. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing. Amen. Because this is your spiritual act of worship. Your spiritual worship depends on how you offer your body. Hallelujah. As we come before the Lord this morning, having Holy Communion. The Bible says, everyone must consider themselves very carefully Amen. before they come and partake the Holy Communion. This is not just a show. This is a covenant. So that means, after partaking the Holy Communion, you must consider the way that you live your life. Amen. As Romans 12, verse 1 said, I beseech you, brothers, offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy sacrifice, pleasing sacrifice. After we have our Holy Communion, walk that righteous life because God is provoking you this morning for His purpose, for His will, and for His word. Amen. When they partake the bread that night, He was promising to them, this is my body. Every time that you partake the bread, you must remember Amen. my flesh. That means we are partaking His flesh. Even though it's a bread now, remember, he said, what, whenever you partake the bread, that's my flesh. So this morning, as we're about to partake the bread, remember, that is the flesh. Hallelujah. It's the body yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us partake together. 